3 Terrifying Skinwalker and Wendigo Horror Stories, Scary Stories Number 3, Skinwalker Ranch This beastly creature is often described with glowing red eyes, tall, and with large, sharp teeth. Essentially, it evokes an image of a werewolf. However, according to folklore and legends of the native tribes of the region, a skinwalker, is not only an evil energy, but it can take any form it wants. What is perhaps interesting about these legends is that many other creation stories and myths feature similar tales. Maybe the tales of ancient Greece and the god Zeus who could, and often did, take any form he chose is a good example. There have been several apparent photographs from people who claim to have spotted such a creature. However, most are dismissed as hoaxes or something much more rational and native to the area. According to the legends, though, these creatures are very real. And what's more, they roam the 500 acres of the ranch still to this day. Number 2, Yorktown Wendigo The small town is supposedly home to something far worse than ghosts. According to eyewitnesses, many of whom have posted their experiences online for all to see, Yorktown is home to the dreaded Wendigo. More often associated with the frigid woods of the far north, the Wendigo is a beast taken from Algonquian folklore. Tales of the Wendigo include stories of the creature as a massive, Bigfoot-like snow beast to a skinwalker that drives people to murder. Some Wendigos even possess the bodies of those who froze to death during lonely hikes in snow-covered mountains. The only consistency in the Wendigo tales is that the creature is always described as ravenous, ravenous for blood. Texas does not get as cold as Minnesota or Manitoba, but, according to Texas resident Easel Vargas, a bald and black-eyed Wendigo roams Yorktown on misty nights. Number 1, Wendigo Psychosis Filling several pages of Algonquian books on legendary creatures, tales of the Wendigo describe the creature as a humanoid cannibal with antlers who feasts on human flesh to survive harsh and cold climates. Legend has it that the first ever Wendigo was a hunter who got lost in the wild during winter and was driven to cannibalism to survive. This saw him morph into a Wendigo, doomed to roam the forest in search of more victims. In the 1800s, a Cree man named Swift Runner slowly became addicted to alcohol got fired from his job as a guide for the Northwest Mounted Police, and became increasingly violent as time passed. In 1878, Swift Runner led his wife, six children, mother-in-law, and brother into the woods, killed them, and ate them. Police found broken hollowed-out bones in the woods as well as a pot of human fat and arrested Swift Runner. He told police that he had been possessed by a Wendigo, which led to him committing the massacre. No one believed him and Swift Runner was found guilty, sentenced to death, and executed in December 1879. Like and subscribe for more dark and creepy content.